is absolutely nothing wrong with you taking any loan out there. Make sure that anytime you take a loan, you're going to repay these loans on time so that you can build your credit score. Many success stories out there of people who have constructed buildings, real estates, and so many things, those rich people, many of the success stories behind them have been built by these loans. So just make sure that whenever you take a loan, you're using it with a good purpose or an investment that is going to help you to repay these loans back. Today we are going to tackle unsecured loans and we will start by defining what unsecured loan is and I'll also tackle four places you can get unsecured loans and how you're going to apply for it. If this is the kind of videos that you've been looking for, make sure that you're hitting that subscription button, become a family. Here we talk about anything that involves finance and I'm really hoping that you can move this journey with me. We said that in 2024, we are going to move this channel to another level. Please hit that subscription button and like this video. You can also share. There is someone out there who might be in need of any loan. So what is unsecured loan? Unsecured type of loan is a, um, a loan that does not require you to have any collateral and it also uh, the loans um, the loan type or or the unsecured loans the borrowers can only apply uh, based on their credit score or the limit that they're going to be given will be based specifically on their credit score I hope you have understood that and now we will move to the next a step which is where you can get these loans the requirement that you will need in order for you to get these loans i'm so happy to have you here welcome to this channel say that we are specifying on unsecured loans and we say that these are loans that do not require you to have any collateral and the limit is based on your credit score okay those people who don't understand what a credit score is this is whereby you're, you're told to check your crb status and you can see those people who have listed you there and if many people have listed you there especially banks just be sure that you're not going to get loans okay or bigger loans with apps and uh, ussd code loans you can get but with the specific loans that i'm talking about today because it requires or needs you to have a good credit score because they are dealing with bigger amount of loans so who can qualify for these loans is a kenyan citizen who is at least 18 years of age and has a good credit score i'm specifying today with good credit score because any any loan that i'll speak about today will need you to have a good credit score and also be clear with other lenders you might be having a you have been cleared with CRB, but you need a letter from other lenders who are list, who listed you there, okay? So where can you get these loans in Kenya? The number one place you can get these loans is HF Group. HF Group. That's the way the the, 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 the way it's pronounced, okay? So to qualify for a personal loan with a HF, you only need to be salaried so for this kind of loan you must be salaried you must be earning an income from a certain company okay and the good thing about it is that it doesn't need you to be under hf for you to get this loan so as long as you are employed as long as you're getting a salary as long as you are under a pay slip or on payroll you're going to get hf loans what are the features of these loans they require you to have an original original and a copy of these documents that i'm going to talk about first of all is id original id and a copy of id then pin certificate original and copy 
then there is no specific uh, minimum net salary required okay as long as you're paid 10,000 as long as you're paid more than 10,000 even 5,000 as long as you're salaried they're going to give you these loans the number three thing they'll need is your salary pay slip for the past three months in case you're new here and you see me looking down I always have a diary with me where I've written everything that I want to share with you okay Another thing they'll require you to have is a field in the loan application form so in order for you to take the loan also you must have visited them and taken that loan form go through it fill it then you can take it back with other documents that are required and also the last thing they'll need you to have is the kra p okay you can visit their websites just go to chrome search hf with group and you will see they also have an app on play store which is hf with up on play store okay but here they are dealing with bigger loans okay so if you want one million five hundred uh, thousand and above you can visit them any day anytime okay number two place you can get these loans is ncba personal loans so we know that ncba was formerly cba bank with, which joined with nic and they joined together and their name is now ncba bank so they offer secured and unsecured loans okay to people with or without ncba bank account okay so those people will think like uh if i do not have an account with these lenders how am i going to get the loans imagine it's not a must to be a person under uh, or a person who has their account you can just visit any of their branches and talk about it they'll explain further to you just visit any ncba bank especially in your town there are so many branches in very many towns it, <laughs> The English is not Englishing today, okay? So various uh, cities in uh, Nairobi or anywhere in Kenya, they have these branches of NCBA. You can always visit them and check. It, they will explain to you in depth, okay? Apart from the sketch that I'm just sharing with you. So what are the features of these loans? Only for salaried or income people. So you must be employed or, or you must be in business, a registered one or a company, okay? Uh, the other thing is that the application is short and straightforward. They do not need a lot of things, okay? No penalty for early repayment. So if you get this money earlier than the period that you said or the debt that you're supposed to repay it in full, you can always repay. There are no penalties for you paying the loan earlier, okay? There's, uh, there's always a loan protection insurance to cover repayment in case of accident, um, permanent or permanent disabilities, okay? Let me explain this Um in depth okay i was once a debt collector in a certain company which i'll not mention but we were collecting loans under um, ncba bank actually and uh so many people so many uh debtors okay those people who had taken loans did not know these rules and today i would like to share it with you out there so if you have taken a loan with a bank okay just know that those loans because they always issue out bigger loans okay in case you were that person who took a loan and maybe in one way or another you were in an accident you got an accident you went uh, got an accident actually and you became maybe disability or the person who took that loan died okay just know that the bank is not going to lose that money because anytime you take a loan with a bank there is always an insurance cover for that so the insurance will pay the bank in full so in case you have a loan out there you are disabled you cannot work and these letters are just harassing you calling you every time just tell them that you visit the bank visit the bank okay with your condition with the letter from the doctor and all that and trust me you your insurance cover for the amount that you took is going to pay the bank in full if you're out there you have a loan bank and uh maybe you are in one way or another maybe the person who took the loan died that's definitely if you take the death certificate to the bank they are going to issue the debt certificate to the insurance cover and they're going to get their money in full okay also if you are a debt collector out there and you've been given a list of uh, debtors and they want you to go and collect then you get that debt certificate and take it to the bank okay know that many banks don't pay those people who have um maybe let's say for example i'm a debt collector i have a uh, contract with another bank to collect for them if you find out that this data died okay they're supposed also to pay me because just know that the insurance is going to pay the 
whole amount to the bank so if they tell you because you can bring the file back simply because that data died just know that that's a lie because one step is that you have you have given them the evidence that the, the the client died so you also are supposed to get the commission for that so that's a story for another day okay so what are the requirements is the basically for three months bank statement and letter of reference the minimum loan amount is fifty thousand, and the maximum amount depends on the value of security that you have out there the number three is the obvious one which is circles if you are in any circles or if you want to get a good loan you can join any circle and i'll specify today with a uh, Carita Circle. I always talk about Carita Circle. If you don't know about Carita Circle, Carita Circle is under NCBA Bank and it's a very good circle because um, it has been exi in existence for a very long time. I think since uh, 1990 something, okay? And it has been working well what they do they'll give you three times your saving if let's say for example you have a saving of ten thousand they're going to give you thirty thousand so if you save two hundred thousand they're going to give you six hundred thousand so it's a very good bank you can go and research about it you can know where the branches are you can talk about it you can go and research and first know where the uh the the circle is in your area you can visit them and get any information that you want so circles are deposit uh taking in nature and are ideal where to channel your savings okay it's a good source of personal loans in kenya where you can borrow up to six times yeah there are so those circles that gives out even up to six times your savings okay and i've given you a good a good uh, circle where you can save your money without worrying because so many Kenyans cry out there because of circles you end up saving a lot of money and the circles is gone okay so that's a good circle whereby you can just save and just not worry about risking your money the last one the last place you can get unsecured loan is equity bank personal loans and we know that so many people actually have equity bank um accounts okay so uh equi loan is a product for salaried customers are uh, meant to meet development needs and acquire assets okay to many equity bank is an excellent source for personal loans okay in kenya so i know that so many kenyans have uh equity bank account if you're one of them they have variety of loans they can offer just you having your phone okay not even visiting their bank and asking for these loans but they have very um many sorts of loans if you're in need of one and the good part about the unsecured loan i'm talking about is not a must to be under the account or you ha must have account with them you can just walk in the bank and you'll talk about it you'll talk about your project what you want to do and all that and if you have the salary if you are a salaried person if you have a company or if you have a business they're going to take off and help you out okay so the requirements of the features of this loan is the payslip id employment letter the employer must have an mou you guys know the memorandum of association and all that a long-term facility enabling the client to pay without straining okay so with equity bank loans they give you a longer period of time so that at least you do not strain repaying for this loan so you get that there is a certain bank which is giving out uh, a loan yes but they want you to repay this loan within six months and maybe the amount that you're going to repay back it's crazy because of the interest and that okay so with the equity bank they'll always give you a longer period of time so that at least you're doing something while you're repaying the loans okay they're not going to make a shorter term loans that is going to make you strain and all that okay so uh the minimum amount depends on the customer's ability to repay the loan so with what you 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 bring to the table or what you show them that this is the security and i want this loan amount and this and this so that will determine the amount of loan that these people are going to give you so i hope this helps you in one way or another and i hope you've also learned about unsecured loans good places to get them and all that so thank you so much for watching me until now if you haven't hit that subscription button please turn it click it and turn the notification bell on okay you'll see a bell on your right or, or left depending on what you're watching me with okay and if you see that bell click and turn the all the notification on anytime i'll do a video youtube will always send you a notification and in one way or another maybe this video was not of help to you my next one or my previous videos might have helped 
in one way or another so thank you for having you me here and I'm, I'm so grateful for having you here and i'm so grateful for you guys who are subscribing to my channel commenting down there i'm so so happy and lucky to have all of you so until my next video let me see you on another one ciao